Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye. I am back with Russian Fishing 4, and we have come back to the tutorial pond or the old cottage pond, which you start off in the game. For those of you who have been playing a while, and for those of you who are just beginning, this is where it all begins, guys. But there's a couple of things I wanted to show you here, real quick, that has changed since the last or when it first started. I wasn't even aware of this. Yeah, you can go ahead and open this place. And if you notice it says house empty, well, what this means is you can store some of your stuff here if you so desire. For instance, let's say I have this old bamboo rod and I want to place it in here, I can do so. move the item to the house just like that that way you're not carrying a lot of extra gear that you're not really using let's see I'm using I'm carrying a lot of stuff. I can't even use this one yet I don't have the ability to so I'm gonna put that to the house simplify things a little bit here Sorrento I very rarely use that anymore But you can move all these things. A spark. I mean, that's an old, old reel for me. We'll move that there. That just takes up a little less room in your inventory and makes things a little bit easier to find. And looks like I had forgotten to go and get rid of some of my fish here. <laughs> but I'll do that later on. Anyway, that is the gist with that. And something else I didn't see before. Right back here, there's a place where you can actually make your lures right here. You can craft them right here. So you don't have to go to the other lakes. You can even do it as here as long as you got the gear. Something I didn't know. Thought I'd pass it on to you guys. Now this looks like something that eventually will have a purpose because most of these things, especially this, this is bait for grass carp and black carp but I tell you you should not underestimate this lake I know it's the beginning lake and I am certain that there are other things in here that's a little bigger than what you've been catching in the beginning but I will tell you this much regular lures will work in here and there's quite a few species here there's Chinese sleepers there's gibble carp, there's crucian carp, there's perch, there are, I'm sure there's got to be regular carp, and I've been wanting to check, you know, kind of check that out here guys, and since it's getting later in the day, I think I might go ahead and do that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out a couple of my feeder rods here, and I think I'm going to put something on here that these guys really like. Uh, let's see here. Let's go with the pearl barley. That's a popular item for carp, especially. We're going to get it over here close to the shore. Well. Kind of nitpicky about where you place it. All right, let me bring out my other feeder rod here. And we'll put that one out as well. I've got a maggot on that one. I think I'm going to stick with that. But most of the carp you're going to find close to shore in the evening hours so that's where we're going to hang this out and what I'm going to do is bring it in a little closer there we go alright and then we're going to bring out this one and we're going to see if we can get us some perch because this is a awesome lure for perch guys 
I think I showed you that before on a previous episode, but this is called the Karuna Vico 8 gram 0.12. What I don't know the name exactly, but it, it's a uh, rainbow colored and very, very, very good for perch, very good for lake trout. We're gonna see if we can't get us some perch here. Now I'm gonna put this at about 20. And we're gonna do a a jig here, step jig or whatever you wanna call it. It is now dark and Lure fishing just doesn't work as well at night. So we're going to pull the war stick out. I've got some bread dough on here and a number 16 hook. And we'll see if we can't get us some more bibble carp or something of that nature. We've got it set to about a meter. Might need to get it closer to those weeds. This war stick has a much longer line, so it's kind of hard to get it over in a just where you want it to be. Now I also cast one of my other feeder rods out to the center. Um, as a matter of fact, sounds like I've got some activity on it. Yep. Got sweet dough on this one. Let's see what we got here, guys. Probably a gibble or something like that. Yep. That's what I thought it would be. Let's see, if you look right out here, there's a hole right here. It's at 3.5 in this whole area right here. So anywhere out there, it's kind of deep. And you might get some decent carp out there, it's hard to say. But I'm going to keep trying. I know there's something big in this place. And I just keep every now and then coming back and trying to see if I can't catch it. <laughs> I have a feeling there's like this one monster carp in here. Ooh, there we go. Oh, goodness. Not too bad. He was fighting. There you go. There's a nice crucian. Uh, actually, I think I might try over here. In the hole. Make sure I'm pointed in the right direction. I love that map. That map makes things so much easier for locating. But we are going to set this down. If we can, there's a lot of rods here. Eh, other rods too close. Still too close. There we go. And yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. I like to jingle these every now and then to make sure that they're. If there's anything there, it might see it, but I decide to go for it, so. We've got a lamp here, but I've got another one here. I might just throw it down, too. Let me see here. Uh, wrong button. Accessories. Camping light use. There we go. Now we got some light. Anyway, guys, let's just wait and see what happens. In this one had a red worm on this one. Another little gibble. Okay, that was a little far. I need to bring that in quite a bit. <laughs> There, that's good. 
This is a very small pond. Whoa. All right. Ah, you little bugger. Well, actually, that close may be all right. Not that close. There we go. He may still be there. Alright, we'll just keep watch here. And once it gets to about 5 o'clock, I'm going to switch the walrus stick for the... Good gosh. Here we go again. This one was a bit of a fighter. Whoa, not bad for out of here. Not bad at all. <laughs> so I know there's some big ones in here. Wouldn't it be cool to get the record crucian carp out of the <laughs> tutorial? You know, I bet you it could be done. I bet you it could be done. It's just a matter of patience. And since nobody comes here, after the tutorial, they just pretty much figure it's done. You never know. Alright, let's just give it a little time. It is morning, and we're going to go ahead and switch this one out here. And we'll put the heavy casting rod in its place. Let's see if we can't try for some more perch. This is really about the ideal time. Well, sounds like I've got something on the other one. Oh, wow. Okay, this one is not bad. And that other one's going nuts now, too. Nice. I'm coming, I'm coming, jeez. Oh my goodness, he is not... He is a fighter. What have we got here, guys? I'll be darned. There you go, guys. There are common carp in here. I mean, granted, he's not a monster, but he's bigger than just about anything else I've seen in here. We'll keep him, too. Right out there in the center. Alright, guys, I am back. I don't know what that was about. There wasn't anybody on Discord, so I thought somebody from the Gen X team was trying to get a hold of me. But I wanted to come over here because... There are some stick-ups over here. And I'm going to try doing some of that perch fishing by those. See right here where these sticks are and grass and stuff? That's usually a good spot for that kind of thing. So I'm going to try on this side and the other. And don't worry about those rods out there. I'll hear them just fine. We're going to see if these guys are out here. Uh-oh, we have activity, guys. I don't know what the deal is with the perch today. They are just not biting right now. But I gotta get over there, that rod.
Not sure which one it is, but I think it's this one. Yep. Oh, goodness. Whoa. Now that is quite a pull, guys. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, you can get fairly decent sized crucian carp out of here. They really seem to be going for the red worms here, so that might be something you might think about trying. Try the red worms. The um, garlic bread dough works very well for them, too. Unfortunately, I'm out of it at the moment. i got to go get the supplies for it and make some more. But it was really working for me better in an earlier time, and, and I ran out of it. <laughs> so but anyway, for some reason, the spin casting is not doing as well here today. Doing much better yesterday. Could be the weather, who knows. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and pull our stuff in. Yeah, I thought I'd throw a night crawler out here just to see. If there are carp out here, that would be a good one to throw out there because some of the biggest carp have been caught off of them. Let me grab that. But anyway, this map, there's quite a few things that you could do here and you know I wish I wanted to also check this little thing out here I don't know that it actually exists but I do want to go over there and take a look it may not exist if it doesn't I'll, I won't even bother but if it does exist I will bring you back guys it does exist <laughs> I don't know I didn't even know this was until I looked at the map, I didn't even know this was here. Didn't even know this was here. And I'm telling you, there could be something in here, guys. There could really be something in here. This is called the swamp. And we, my friends, are going to give this a little bit of a try here. I think I'm going to go with regular worms this time. No, let's go with bread dough, be safe. But we're going to toss over there by that stick up. Oh, too close. There we go, I got loose. That's the only thing about being in such a small body of water here. Set it right there. Let's get out another one. We'll put a red worm on that one. Just stay here just a little while and see what happens. I am going to grab the walrus stick and head on to the other side and try fishing with that. This really isn't a place to cast, as you can see. But the fact that there's that structure, look, there's more structure over here too. Yeah, we're going to give this a try, see what happens. Where's my... Actually, we're going to go with the Starling Stick, because I'm afraid the walrus is just going to be too big. Let's put it about 60, because I don't think this is going to be very deep. Heck, it's really shallow. Throw it out a little further. Alright, 
let's take it down even more. Let's put it right at about 30. There we go. Anyway, we'll just sit here for a little bit, give it a try. If nothing happens, nothing happens. But I can't imagine they would put this here and not have it have fish in it. Guys, I have been here quite a while. I have not seen any activity at all. I would like to know, guys, if any of you have been over here or found this, if any of you have had any luck, or if this is even supposed to have anything in it, but I think it should, at least something, if it doesn't. But this is here. If nothing else, it might have some kind of uh, ability to get bait out of it or something. I don't know. But yeah, nothing's been biting on either float fishing or the feeder rods. Can't get through the daggone trees here. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and pack her up. Yeah, nothing was biting here. I sure heck wanted to give it a try. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get our butts back out of here. But that's that little, little pond or whatever you want to call it down here. I think they call it the swamp. Let me see, I'm going to walk out of this area a little bit. See, it's not very far. Yep, location, swamp. Alright guys. Here we're back home. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another episode of Russian Fishing 4 and I will be back in one of the bigger lakes I promise you that but I just thought this was kind of interesting anyway guys always remember aim straight, cast far and have fun and I will see you later bye bye